1993 World Ice Hockey Championships from Germany. Well, if you like ice hockey, stay with us because Eurosports coverage will continue non-stop over the next two weeks with one, two, and yes, sometimes three games a day from Dortmund and Munich. Well, this is the 57th World Ice Hockey Championships, and some say it could be the most wide open. Last year, the Swedes captured the gold, the Finns the silver, and the Czechs the bronze. The Swiss surprised a lot of people, finishing fourth, and the Russians surprised even more people, ending up in fifth out of the medal round for the first time ever. Our game this evening features the Czech Republic playing from left to right against the USA in Dortmund, West Fallen Hall with the capacity crowd of 11,000 people anticipating a great two weeks of ice hockey. This competition, the Pool A competition, is divided up into two groups. In Munich, the Russians, the Canadians, the Swedes, the Italians, the Swiss, and the Austrians will play. And in Dortmund, it'll be the Americans, the Finns, the Germans, the French, the Czech Republic, and Norway. And already we've had a couple of results come through. The Norwegians lost to the Germans six to nil, so that's a great start for them, for the Germans that is. And the Italians and the Russians, do not adjust your sets, drew two goals apiece. Action starting now live in the West Fallen Hall with the Americans playing from right to left as we take a look at the lineup for the Americans Dunham one of the only two players back from the world championships last year Plants is the other one a couple of college kids there Yablonski, Beers, Weinrich some NHL players a sprinkling of college kids a nice mixture for the Americans can they do the job they would like very much to have guys like LaFontaine and Brett Hull but that's not going to happen the NHL playoffs are just starting and uh, so the Americans will have to be content with what they've got. Tupal sets that up on the wing and that's flipped over. There's going to be a penalty against the Americans as we get this one underway. A long shot in. Offside is the call. Slashing is the call along with the offside whistle that took a long time to come. Leo Gudas out there on the defense for the Czechs. They've now become the Czech Republic, Republic instead of Czechoslovakia. Some other familiar names, Kadlec, Serban, Staviana, Rosso, Petro Rosso, who played his hockey in Italy. Kastak, Zemlichka, Kuchera. And the first penalty of the game is to Doug Waite, the New York Rangers Edmonton Oilers star. Early stages for the Americans to start things off in the penalty box as Gudas goes back. Gudas, familiar stocky defenseman, likes to throw his weight around. He's got a great shot from back of the blue. That came as far as the D and Darian Hatcher tipped it out into neutralized territory. Back to the Czech defense. Gudas picks it up, wings it over to the far side. Shadowing nicely is Burt for the Americans. Bobbling puck is picked up and the Czechs now start things out. Drop back by Kaloon over to the far side. Flipped into the corner and the Americans will take a swipe at this. It doesn't go out. A chance now for the Czechs. That comes right in on goal and eventually shot away by Burt. Still a penalty to wait for the Americans. A chance now for Kadlec. Kadlec has her back wheeling on the left side. That comes up on the right side to Kaloon. Kaloon, his long pass eludes Howard. And the Czechs start it out. All the way back to the blue. Kadlec pumps it in. Zemlichka puts it in behind the red line. Zemlichka calls for it. That comes all the way back to the blue. Zemlichka now on the hash marks. Throws it right in. A chance goes begging there as Dunham couldn't clear that away. A long shot. Kadlec let that one ride. Dunham went down. The backhander comes back. Another shot comes in. Dunham again goes down from the short side. And a lot of pressure coming from the Czechs in the opening stages here as they apply the pressure with the man advantage. Trying to get that out front to Zemlichka. Good grab there. 
And USA and the Czechs going to the bench as Weinrich comes back to congratulate Dunham on a strong early performance between the pipes. Good glove hand save from point blank range. Yan Kaloon getting the lumber on that and it'll give the University of Maine goaltender a chance to settle into this one. Modano loses the draw. That comes all the way in. Eventually batted down on the hash marks. Zemlichka drops it back into the slot area. Some good stuff from the Czechs as they throw the puck around with Tupal causing all sorts of headaches out there. Zemlichka dances on the hash marks. Cadillac went it wide. Dunham saw that go back around behind the net. Weinrich trying to get it up and eventually that comes nicely to do Johnson. Flipped over onto the left wing. Number nine is Mike Modano, the Minnesota North Star star. And he's going to become a Dallas star as soon as the team moves down there at the start of the uh, next National Hockey League season, which will begin in October. The Minnesota North Star is moving south after a couple of years of financial disaster in Minnesota. That is a pity because Minnesota is a definite hotbed of hockey. But Dallas will get a chance to see some NHL hockey as we take a good look at the Swedish referee, Mr. Sold. Wait out of the penalty box, gets the draw back. There's a chance now for the Americans in the first shot, just going by the far post, trying to get that back to the hash marks into the corner. And some good stuff coming from Hastak, dropped all the way back onto the D. Gudas calls for it on the right wing. Gudas from the hash marks, not a great clearance from him, but somehow that got out. Kuchera picks it up. Kuchera gets over the blue line, and that's tapped up nicely. Howard trying to get it through the neutral zone. Kuchera takes the shot, comes right in front, and that bounced into the circle, and the Americans, bunching in their own end, eventually bring it out. On the far side, it's Waite. On this side, it's Amonti. He couldn't get a handle on it. Back come the Czechs. From a sharp angle, the shot on Dunham. The rebound to number 20, Janecki. Janecki, one of the class players out of Czechoslovakia, gives that to Gudas. Gudas shot is well wide of the target, and that's rattled along the boards behind the goal. The Americans getting back in numbers. Eddie Olchek is out on the ice now. Olchek pumps that from forward. Olchek with a excellent career in the NHL starting with Chicago, Winnipeg, Toronto and the New York Rangers still only 27 years old and the Czechs have a definite advantage of having played together for some time before coming into this world championship two week final the Americans, one or two of them have just got off the plane the season ended on the 15th with a couple of hangover games from the Storms earlier on in the year on the 16th. The playoffs started on the 18th. Eight teams out of the playoffs. The race is on now for Podine. Podine goes into the corner. Podine being muscled out of the plate. Serban stays on Podine. Podine still doing a great job of forechecking. That comes into the corner now. Serban along with Stabiana eventually get it as far as Russell. Russell pumps it back into the corner. Podine now working with Turcott. Turcott and Serban going at each other. Turcott looking for the puck, trying to get it out front. And that comes to the hash marks. Modano. Modano dances around one man, puts it in behind the goal, looking for Turcott out front, and that didn't happen. Eventually, that trickles down the ice, and we'll have another face-off and a change of personnel. Good look at 20-year-old Mike Dunham, drafted by New Jersey, and plays hockey with the University of Maine. Face-off with Plant, the only other surviving player for the Americans from last year's World Championship run. Johnson on the wing. And as I said, it's a nice mixture of college kids and NHL stars, just because they're out of the playoffs doesn't mean they're not good players out there as, or was a moment ago, Madano. And Madano, at the tender age of 22, has got to be one of the high flyers. 
on a $6.7 million contract for four years. That's thrown over onto the right side. The Czechs now start things out with Kadlec. Kadlec pumps it over to the left side, and that comes up into the neutral zone. The Czechs with, with Kastak working in behind the goal. That doesn't happen for the Czechs with Zemlichka reaching high for the puck. Thrown into number 26, Plant. Plant can't get a handle on it. A bouncing, bobbling puck eventually comes out into neutralized territory to Zemlichka. Zemlichka throws that up to her back. Beers now for the USA. Beers, a good pass, threading the eye of the needle, but that couldn't be contained by Drury. Eventually, the Americans get it back. One, two, three. Good save. And the college line testing the checks deep in their own territory. Brise called on to make the big save. 28-year-old Petr Brise coming up big. Number one on the national team and number one in Czechoslovakia, even though he plays his hockey in Finland for Luko Rauma. A lot of the Czechs play throughout Europe. Seven in Finland, five in Sweden, a couple in Germany, and a heck of a lot more in the National Hockey League. The race is on now with Weinrich going back. Weinrich has Waite back to Weinrich. Gives it off to Waite. Waite looking for someone to pass to in the neutral zone. Weinrich lets that ride over onto the left side. The shot by Olchik doesn't work, and back come the Czechs. Kastak got it over, looking for number 24, Tupol. Play slowing down here in Dortmund. A lot of support for the Czechs, as you can well imagine. One or two holidaymakers from USA here to cheer on the Americans. Things will pick up as this tournament grows in strength. And a look now at Tim Taylor. Tim Taylor, the coach of Yale, working out there with John Cunniff, ex-New Jersey coach. Behind the other bench is the familiar face of Ivan Linka, who spent some time with the Vancouver Canucks, 260 national caps for Czechoslovakia when they were Czechoslovakia. Burt calling for it. Burt gets it in a circle, taps that forward nicely to Podine. Podine lets that ride to the Czech blue line. Podine couldn't get a handle on that. Kuchera missed it. A lot of freewheeling in the neutral zone. The pass forward to Modano. Modano missed the check. And the checks come forward. Janecki looking for the pass that didn't come. And a chance for Modano. Modano breaks down on the right wing. Modano breaking free now. Modano going in. The loose puck in the crease. Modano picks it up. Tries to fire it out front. That took a deflection. Some good stuff from Mike Modano as Podine moves into the side of the net. The shot comes in. Podine is right there. Modano is there. Took a swipe at it and then missed the open corner. Stabiana couldn't get it. And Turcotte and Modano causing a few headaches for Brisa. Janetski now moving in from a sharp angle. Dunham made the save coming out of his crease. And both goaltenders being tested, tested rather, with Kastak coming in and letting the shot go. Poland gets it up to Kuchera. Kuchera drops it all the way back into the circle. Both teams again changing on the fly, and that will be the order of the day. Ted Drury tapped that down, but the offside whistle blew. And Grise with several close-in shots. As we take a look at Mike Modano. Modano unable to get good lumber on that. The rebound comes right back out to Madano. You can see Podine there. On the other side of the post was Turcotte. Brett Hauer goes deep. Hauer eludes one check. Hauer gets away from Russell. Gets it up to Drury. A chance now for number 21, Sacco. Sacco throws it over. The shot comes in. Sacco waiting for the rebound. Riza gets the glove to it. Well, obviously this one's not everyone's cup of tea. Brisa well positioned as Sacco came in looking for the puck on the rebound. It didn't happen. Back to the blue. A giveaway here. Russell breaking now 
Rosso coming in on Dunham. Rosso the backhand. Dunham makes a great save. Power picks it up. Dunham is there at the side as the puck came right back to him. So both goaltenders shining here in the early stages of this first period. Still no score. Back on the near side as we take a look at Russell. Russell going in, gets a chop from behind, but that doesn't slow him down. Dunham had to come up big. Beers waits for the change of personnel out there. Throws it up to Waite. Waite puts that on the wing to Amonti. Back to Waite. Waite tries to get it in front. The wrap round. That ends up in the near corner. Back on the hash marks. Pump right back in. Zemlichka couldn't get it. Gudas tapped it away. And cross-checking is the call. It hasn't been that physical. And referee Sven-Erik Sold hasn't had a lot to do. That's the second penalty of the game. Let's take a look at this breakaway. Russell, one hand on the stick. You'll see the last minute chop coming in right now. Good save by Dunham as Russell went to the his left side and Gudas goes for cross-checking. Kadlec in the corner against Amonti. Tony Amonti, the New York Rangers star, pumped up in the corner, got that on the wing to Wait. Wait taps it over to the far side, and the Americans with the man advantage, trying to set something up, 9.35, coming up to 9.40, one minute on the penalty, Wait behind the net, he's got Amonti on this side, Amonti slows it down on the hash marks. Monty fakes the shot, going back to Wait, trying to get it out front. A big traffic jam develops, the top of the circle, Wait, calling for it on the far side. That pass was intended for Monty. Cadillac interfered with that, and back come the Americans, going in quickly as Horava. All the way back to the blue line, and that somehow eluded Bob Beers, and the Czechs now have an opportunity. Coming in from a sharp angle, the Czechs with number 24, Tupal. Doing a great job out there. Weinrich goes along the board. Servan got up forward. And the Americans getting caught sleeping out there as we have another penalty on the play. Gudas still sitting in the box for the Czechs. Americans have evened it up in the penalty box. Eddie Olchek, along with Leo Gudas, tapped in by number 24, Tupal. Bert. Bert has Modano working to one side. Turcotte circles in front. A good move by Bert to get himself free, free rather, throws it up into the far side. Modano, Turcotte, a backhand shot, Brees is there, that goes right through the crease. Burt gets it over to the far side, four on four situation. Burt calling for it from a sharp angle, puts it right in front and Brees tips it way to the hash marks on the far side. Hatcher, the six foot five defenseman, backhands that in. Stabiana picks it up and throws it in to Servan. Serba and Stabiana, two season campaigners for Czechoslovakia before it became the Czech Republic. Working on the D, Tupal doing some poor checking. And the Czechs are back to full strength. Back on the attack. Modano goes back to take Janecki out of the plate. Tupal swipes at that, misses it, but it doesn't get out over the blue line. And eventually the Americans pick it up and rattle it off the boards, shooting that all the way down the ice. Poland, another change of players for both teams. As time ticks down here in the first period, Podin slowed his man down on the far side. Kuchera throws it into the far corner. Waite shadows his man. Waite has put in a fine first period. Podin couldn't stop Janeczki. Janeczki again trying to get round Podin. 
And this time, Podin's having better luck out there. Janetski getting a little help from his friends as he comes back down the right side. Janetski slams on the brakes, looks to go to the far side, and some great stuff from number 11, Barry Richter. Kuchera now one hand on the stick. Kuchera flips it into the far corner. The Americans set up the box. Still a power play situation for the Czechs. In behind the goal, Kuchera looking for Yonechki. Yonechki gets it up. The Americans are back at full strength. The shot goes off of Dunham's pads. The shot right in again. Yonechki from close in took a shot. Dunham held his ground. A stand-up goaltender. And some good stuff from him. Holland comes up, lets the shot go, and again, Dunham is there to make the save. Johnson got that forward. Plant. Riza got the pad on it. And the spectators here in Dortmund are really enjoying this end-to-end -end hockey. Zemlichka squeezed out of the play just in front of the goaltender. And we have another whistle on the play. competition will go right until the 2nd of May and as I said at the top of the program stay with us we have one two and sometimes three games a day as we take a look at Kastak breaking in on goal cleared away at the last moment This gentleman will now show you how many ways the all-new Skoda has been improved. An aluminium engine with wash fuel injection for better fuel economy. And then there are side impact bars on all four doors. And a completely new interior. And that's not forgetting this. And this. And this. Yes, and that. And this and, uh, well, even this. The all-new Skoda. Improved in 548 ways. Or was it 549? Just outside the blue line, the Americans looking to get something going with their college youngsters out there. Drury, Harvard University senior, getting set to go with the Calgary Flames anytime he likes. So as soon as he graduates, I'm sure you're going to see him playing with the Flames in the National Hockey League. And this is where a lot of these youngsters will be moving on to. They talk about the Olympics and having the dream team next year in Norway in Lillehammer. Personally, I don't think it's a great idea. It's nice to see the superstars together, but it's also very enjoyable seeing the youngsters come through and shine at the highest level. Where else are you going to see them on a platform like this, if not in the World Championships or the Olympics? Russell for checking for the checks as that comes all the way back deep into American territory, the giveaway pass to Kastak. Kastak looking to get around Hatcher. Kastak still moving in. Amonti puts his stick in the way. The shot trickles in. That was Kastak getting a piece of that. That's batted as far as the hash marks and Craig Johnson taken out of the play. Shot from a sharp angle there. Gries loves it down and gives it to Gudas. And Dreza really has been tested on several times, but he's really looked totally in control out there. Gudas bundles himself over the blue line along with Russell, and the whistle blows. Offside is the call as play moves out over the blue line. The familiar gray hair there in the background of Ivan Halinka, the coach of the Czechs. To Russell trying to squeeze through a Monte and Beers. Herbeck gets set for the faceoff. And eventually the Americans set themselves up. Old check on the wing going in as Waits. Waits gets that back onto the D. The Czechs played a tour tournament recently in Rouen in France and didn't look that sharp. 
They've had a few games against Sweden, and they looked a lot better than the Czechs with nine players back from last year's World Championship team that captured the bronze. As I said, the Americans with only two. And they had a seventh place finish. That comes all the way back to number four there, Weinrich. He let the slap shot go. And now a two-on-two -two situation, Weinrich going back. A chance for Zemlichka. Zemlichka runs into Weinrich and goes the other way. Zemlichka tries to get that back to the D, and the race is on. A lot of interference off the puck out there as Daviana collides just in the neutral zone. And we have another whistle on the plate. Zemlichka, one of the more colorful players for the Czech side. He's been around a while. 26 years old, plays his hockey in Freiburg, drafted by Edmonton in 90, as most of these Czechs have been done, or, or, or have been. They haven't all been drafted by Edmonton, but most of them have been drafted by a team in the NHL. Not many have gone that way from this team. There is a tendency to draft Czechs and now Russians and then just leave them playing in Europe. Burt starts things up on the right side. Burt now. Burt loses that in neutralized territory. Horek starts it up on the left side. Long shot, took a deflection. Janetski in the corner. Going back deep is Modano. Modano looking for somewhere to go. Throws that up on the wing. A chance now for Podine. Podine has Modano. Modano running out of places to go. That comes right out front. Podin couldn't get a handle on it. Back to the blue. A bobbling puck is right there. Podin takes a shot. Breezer goes down. The rebound, the puck, or the net rather, goes way off its moorings and somehow it landed right back where it's supposed to be. Modano, some good stack handling as he gets away from Tupau. Modano cruising in front of the net. A bouncing puck at the top of the circle and the check started out. Podak throws it over to the far side. The shot wide of the net as Dunham went down. Kadlec gets it in. That was deflected away by Modano, who's playing some good two-way hockey out there. Darian Hatcher throws it up on the wing. Modano slammed on the brakes as he hit the blue. Some good chopping there by Herbeck as that came out to Gudas. Gudas gets it up into neutralized territory. The Czechs waiting for support and a change of personnel. Kuchera doubles back, throws it up. Kuchera the return pass, and he doesn't make the most of that. Janetski. Over the blue, some good stick handling from both teams here in the early stages of this one. A rough ride there for Kuchera along the boards and the Americans are starting to throw their weight around here in the first period. Janetski takes a poke at it, waits along the boards and Richter comes up with a puck. Richter breaks on the left side. That, the idea was good but Gudas saw it coming a mile away. Shot in by Johnson. Gudas goes after it. He won't be alone. That deflects off a skate. And we have another whistle on the play. Still no score in this one. And that'll give Craig Johnson, who was St. Louis's number one draft pick in 1990, a chance to pick up his helmet. Janetski goes to the box. Action around the net with Podine and Modano closing down on Brisa. Not an easy job being a goaltender. You get hit from the front and hit from behind. That must have hurt across the back of the net. From the faceoff, a power play situation now. Janetski for hooking. 16.57. Amonti loses that in his skate. Hastak couldn't control it. Tapped forward by Beers. And another whistle on the plate. And I know that one or two of the NHL Americans, and for that matter, any NHL player that's playing over here, will have to clean up their act. They're playing International Hockey League hockey uh, now and not National Hockey League hockey. And you won't get away with the same kind of rough stuff that you do in Canada and the States. 
We already know that the Germans beat the Norwegians 6 0. And the Italians and the Russians tied at two apiece. Great start for the Italians and the Germans. Doug Waite leaves that behind, breaks down the right, cuts across into the neutral ice territory, loses it. That's picked up by Beers. A chance for the Americans as they move in on Brisa. The shot ends up on the far side. Weinrich now in the corner. The big defense and Weinrich gets it over the far side. That comes all the way back to the blue. Tapped in by Hauer. The Americans covering for each other as they find the defenseman going right up into the corner. Hauer trying to bring it forward. Gloves it down right at the blue line. Waite throws it to the far side. Nothing happening just yet in front of the net. Podine moves in and Brisa has to make the save. Something out of nothing. That was very casual. Janetski looking on from the penalty box. You can see Podine will cut right across as Modano falls and the backhander comes in. A bit of a chip shot and Brisa has to be careful on this one. It took a while for the whistle to blow and for Brisa to get a handle on that puck, but eventually it happened. From a different angle, our camera in the sky, you can see everyone buzzing around that net, a power play for the Americans. No one moving in until Podine eventually goes in with the stick. Modano skated away, Waite skated away. Two minutes for tripping for Zemlichka. That's going to make it short for the Czechs out there. So Janetski and Zemlichka will sit in the box. And the Americans, let's see what they can do with the two-man advantage out there. Time ticking down as we approach the final minute and a half. That comes all the way back to the D with Modano at the top of the circle. The big forward is right in there from close range. A chance there for Bedini. Took a swipe at it. And the backhander from her back sends the Americans all the way down the ice. Thrown over to the far side by Hatcher. That's pumped all the way in, and the Czechs getting back in a hurry. Not a great setup by the Americans, and they'll chase again. I really don't know why they're dumping it in. They've got, well, now they've got one man out there with an advantage as Janetski steps back on the ice. That goes all the way down the ice, and the Americans looking totally disorganized out there as they had a golden opportunity with a two-man advantage. Good look at uh, Milos Horova, who spent three years with the New York Rangers, now playing hockey in Moto in Sweden. Face-off in USA territory, as they made a complete mess of that power play, iced the puck. Janetski stepped back on the ice. So just Zemlichka in there for tripping. Wait, gets it over to the boards. And Monty can't get a handle on Eventually picks it up. And the Americans now started out. Russell doing some forechecking on the side. That comes all the way back to the check defense. And it's shot out and down the ice. Dunham taps it over. Time ticking down on the period and on the penalty. Still no real quality shots for the Americans. That's thrown over onto the right side. The Americans now looking to get things going in the Czech zone. All the way back to the blue. Russell goes after his man. Tipped in by Olchek. Olchek to wait. Wait back to Weinrich. Back to Olchek. Olchek. Not a great pass from him as that's tapped back into the corner. Wait. Stick handling. No one comes to get him. Weinrich. Back to wait. The clock ticking down. A few American supporters a little frustrated there. Wait from a sharp angle. Brisa got the pads on it. And Russell took weight heavily into the boards. They have words as the buzzer goes. And Dunham and Brisa, definitely the men of the period. Both goaltenders coming up big on several occasions. No score after 20 minutes of play. Lots of ice hockey to come from Dortmund. Join us. We'll be back with the second period. Stay with us. Paul Ferguson here, getting ready for the start of the second period between the Czech Republic and USA. 
a wide open first period. One or two penalties, and the Czechs will have Zemlichke in the box for about 17 seconds, but still no score on the clock. Petr Briza shining between the pipes for Czechoslovakia, and Michael Dunham, the college goaltender for the Americans, really put on in, putting on a fine display out there. We know now that the Swedes are beating the Austrians after 20 minutes of play, one to nil. And as we say, this is going to be a free-for-all, two weeks of hockey that anyone can win. We've seen the Italians tie the Russians. 2-2 and the Germans beat the Norwegians 6-0. 17 seconds of a power play now as the Americans started off with beers. Tipped up onto the right side and Poland hammers that off the boards. Confirmation of the score line. Well, there isn't one here in the second period. Richard Beaupre will be joining me for day two and for the rest of the tournament. One or two people have asked me why I work alone from time to time and I say don't ask me ask the boys upstairs and one fan suggested that when I'm working alone I should pretend that there's someone with me by putting on a different voice and I say that's fine I can do a couple of voices the only trouble is one is Donald Duck and the other is Kermit the Frog so I really don't think that would be appropriate Richard will be joining me for the rest of the tournament tomorrow as I said as that goes all the way down the ice and referee Sven Erik sold the Swede, barking out the instructions. Take another look at the supporter who isn't enjoying this at all. I personally am. They say that Dortmund is second to Milwaukee. As far as producing beer is concerned, Milwaukee is the top beer producer in the world, so that could explain why he's in the state he's in. Doug Waite takes a deep breath, counts his fingers, and makes his way back to the bench if he can find it. Waite certainly looking to be in trouble out there. 22-year-old Waite takes to the bench and Zemlichka goes for high sticking he just stepped back onto the ice he had a penalty at 18-17 of the first period and now he's back again and the Americans will have another power play they blew it in the final stages of the first period they had a two man advantage and couldn't do anything with it it's early days for the Americans. A lot of them haven't played together. Podin breaks in on the far side. Turcotte here. He's been working well with Modano. A wraparound from Podin and Brisa was sharp to get the stick on it. And Russell comes down on the left side. A one-on-one -on -one situation. Russell fanned on the pass. There's still some water out there on the ice. And that could have slowed that one down. Russell got a stick in on that one. Action in the neutral zone as Podin got it over to number 21, Sacco. And the Americans with Podine working through the water. Turcott trying to get it away from Russell. Turcott waiting for that to come his way. And Russell picks it up. Russell stick handling nicely. Only gets it back as far as Modano. Modano takes the shot. And that just about took the ears off of Brisa. Modano calls for it on this side. He's finding himself way back at the blue now. Gudas missed that. Turcott is positioned right in front of the goal. At the bottom of your screen is Modano. Modano's got a great shot for a 22-year-old. Bounced off the boards, and Brisa picks it up at the side of the net. Turcott gets a shove as everyone moves in quickly to sort this one out. Still no score on the scoreboard. Excellent opportunities for both teams. We've seen Modano go in on goal in the first period. Russell had a breakaway. Podine came in and tipped it right in the crease and this is Brisa tidying up at the side of his net Gudas and Horova double teaming Turcotte but he's seen that before they say in the NHL when you're in front of the net it's a war zone 
Well, in international hockey, I'd say it's like a street fight. It's not quite a war zone out there, but it, it's not the kind of place to spend an afternoon. Wait, back on the ice, muscles along with Stabiana. That moves along the blue line. A chance now for the Americans, pumping it back in. Wait at the side of the net, slows things down on the hash mark. Will he shoot? No, gets it all the way back to the blue. The shot comes in. Riza was there. Amonti waiting right in the crease. Amonti bangs it off the boards, gets it out to Wait. Wait takes it back to the uh, red line. Wait now moves in. A chance as he goes in sharp on Briza. Not a clear shot on goal there, but Briza still had to be agile to smother that one. Wait from a sharp angle. On the backhand, moves to the forehand. One or two sticks from Stabiana and Riza going after it. And the smother is there. From a different angle, and we have cameras situated all around the Westfallen Hall. Wait doing his best to jam this one in from the short side. From the draw, the Americans still with the power play as Hauer goes deep. Hauer hammered into the boards. Hauer really leveled just behind the net but the Americans come up a three on three situation. The check's now back at full strength as that's taken away by Herbeck. Herbeck throws it up onto the right side and now the checks apply a little pressure. Going back is Richter, that comes to the side of the net. Dunham leaves it there and the Americans start out and sold whistles that play down and skates towards the timekeeper's bench. Let's take a look at this again. Beranek, number 27, who just joined the team at the last moment, getting involved with some in some rough stuff with Barry Richter. who plays for Philadelphia. And Richter, who was drafted by Hartford, but spends his time at the University of Wisconsin. Sitting it out. That comes on to the wing to Capusta. Capusta, hope checked out of the plate. Picked up by Burt. Burt waits for everyone to get organized and brings it out through the top of the circle. The blue line hits the red. Chance now for Tupal. Tupal feeds it back to Kadlec. Nice move by Kadlec. Kadlec winds it up, takes the shot. That took a deflection into the corner. And Modano has to go back. Tupal, or Capusta rather, taken off the play by Modano. Modano is having an awesome game out there against the Czechs. Turcotte, Podine, and Modano really showing their class against the Czechoslovakian first line. That's whistled all the way in. Modano drops it right in front. And a chance for the Americans with Brisa going down. Coming up to 3.53 in the period. Still no score on the clock. Gudas going in with the high elbow there on Darian Hatcher. And believe me, when I say high, to hit Hatcher, he's got to go six foot five, add some skates on there. And you've got Gudas jumping on a trampoline to get to his head. That comes all the way back to Beers. Beers taps out along the boards in on the corner and the Americans now set it up. Some good stuff from Gudas. He's physical. Weight taken off the play as that goes into neutralized territory. Eric Weinrich is being chased. Dolezal staying on Weinrich. Dolezal doing a great job of forechecking. Fed through and the Americans now with Weight circling back. Weight. Beers. Beers feeds it through the middle as Amonti and Wait collide. Amonti can't get there. That comes out over the blue. Some interference on the blue line. Beers slows it down. And Weinrich gets back into position. The long pass trickles over the red line. Icing is the call.
Gudas, Janeczki, and Zemlichka picked up penalties in the first period for the Czechs. And Wayton Olchek spent a couple of minutes each for the Americans. You're watching live action from Dortmund on Eurosport, the World Ice Hockey Championships in day one, well and truly underway. Travis Richards gets it up on the side. There's going to be a half a dozen names that you probably don't recognize out there. These are college kids from the USA. Barry Richard fed that in. Russell steps on the ice. Both teams are back at full strength. That comes out nicely to Hastak. Hastak dumps it in. Dunham with a lot of time back there. High sticking is the call, and the Swedish referee isn't letting anything go out there. Derek Plant. Drafted ninth by Buffalo in 89, still only 22 years old, will sit for two for high sticking. And well, we've got a break here. We know now that Great Britain are coming up into Pool A. Great Britain went undefeated in Pool B in Eindhoven. Congratulations to Alex Dampier and the boys over in Britain. They will, of course, have to go into a qualifying round to see if they're in the Olympics in Norway. That'll be held in September somewhere in Europe. The Brits hope it'll be in that fantastic arena in Sheffield. The Czechs applying the pressure here. Russell along the boards. Russell gets it back to the D. Another whistle on the plate. And the Czechs looking to get things set up. And the Americans will go for a change as they throw on fresh personnel to kill off this penalty. Well, the world's press are certainly here in Munich and in Dortmund. As I said, there are two groups of six playing their games in Munich and Dortmund. And the final week, we'll see all the action move over to Munich when the top four from each group will play off with the first place going against the fourth and so on. Nothing much happening here in the second period. It was wide open, end-to-end -end stuff, really exciting with both goaltenders pulling out all the stops in the first period, but it really has slowed down in the second. The Americans come out of their conference with Sacco in the face-off circle. Americans looking to kill this off as that comes back to Herbeck. Herbeck lost it along the boards and the Czechs now looking to get something set up. Herbeck, Kapusta fed over to the near side. Long pass by Serva across the blue line and the Czechs motor down the ice. Herbeck does a 360, pumps it along the boards. Sold tries to get out of the way as that comes all the way back to number six, Bedrick Serba. Staviana, Staviana, not a great clearance from him. And the Americans now have an opportunity, a two-on-two -two situation. Coming down is Podine, the back pass. The shot after the whistle. Breza will have words with the official when he picks up the puck. Tim Taylor, the endless chewing of the gum in his ninth world championship. Ivan Halinka looking a little more calm and relaxed behind the Czech Republic bench. Still no score here in the second period. Some golden opportunities from both teams. Thomas Kapusta. Kapusta drops it back. And the Czechs hit the red line. A chance for Veranek. Veranek loses out just over the red line. Thrown over to Kadlec. Kadlec up on the right side. Kapusta. Veranek floats that one to the far side. That comes all the way back to number four, Holland. 
Poland taps it in at the hash marks. The Czechs now stringing the passes together. The shot. And Dunham came up big again. Got the pad in front of him. Dunham is a good stand-up goaltender. He doesn't flop. Cadlech took the shot. Modano picks it up. Modano feeds it through. And the Americans coming up now. Turcott. Turcott tries to pump it through. Modano breezes there. That's not a way as the Americans are back at full strength. Plonk steps on the ice. And both teams successful at killing off these penalties. Burt fires that around. That's not a way. Pass right in from a sharp angle. A chance there for Capusta. But he couldn't get any lumber on the puck. And that's tipped away from Gudas. Tap forward to Kuchera. Kuchera trying to stick on Alana's own. Taken out of the play from Derry, by Darian Hatcher, rather. And Dunham pounces on it. Coaches and players from both teams will be watching this one. At the second attempt, Dunham calls for the faceoff. Faceoff deep in USA territory. Still no score. Power squeezed out of the play by number 24, Tupal. Janetski goes in to do some forward checking. That comes down to the far side. Podine looking to get it out, and that goes all the way down the ice. Pattern of the play has broken down in the second period. The Czechs with the six gold, 12 silver, and 15 bronze. And the Americans, last won a gold medal in 1960, last won a medal of any kind, and that was a bronze in 63. Both of those games were played in the USA. Could you see, could you say that they're a home nation? Sue Powell taken heavily into the boards. Amonti, the Americans with two gold in total, nine silver and three bronze. Not doing as well as the Czechs. All the way deep into U.S. territory. The Americans now starting it out. Wait circles back. He's played an influential part. Monty takes a check, or a chop rather, at Kastak. Got away with it. That comes in behind the goal. Waite picks it up in the near corner. Waite trying to get it out front. His pass is deflected away. And the checks now lose it out to Waite, who's standing on the hash marks. Kastak, a big check from him. That comes to the side of the net. Breeze is there. Monty picks himself up slowly. And both the checks and the Americans throwing their weight around. Amante actually took Camel Kastak's helmet off, and here's why. Amante knocked to the ice by Kastak. When they stood up, Amante had words and pushed his helmet off. Old Chick goes in to help out as that comes to the side of the net, and Brisa alertly pounces on it. Still no score here in the second period. As the faceoff comes out over the blue. Sacco into the faceoff circle with Hastak. Hastak and Kastak, one with an H and one with a K out there. Kastak now. Slamming on the brakes along the boards. Taken out of the play. The pass into the center ice zone is batted away. Going over is Drury. Drury ran into a sea of red. That's thrown up onto the left wing. And the checks with Hastak trying to get something going. Giving it away to the Americans. Tipped forward by Johnson. Johnson. That's fed through by Burt. Burt with one hand on the stick. And Cadlech now is dumped. Johnson goes in quickly. Serban. Picks himself up along with Kadlech. 
And that comes deep. Darian Hatcher throws it out to the blue line. Hastak loses control of the puck, and the Americans pounce on it and come back. Sacco looking for some place to go. Right in front. A chance there for Darian Hatcher, but the rebound eluded him as that shot all the way down the ice. And play now picking up in momentum. And the Americans having one or two good opportunities with the kids out there. Drury, Hatcher, Turcotte came back to the bench to give a couple of pats on the back to the boys. And it's always encouraging when NHL players not only talk to you, but encourage you to that level. They're all one out there right now. That comes to the top of the circle. Shot. Hadledge picks it up. That's that as far as the blue line. Not a great clearance from him. Eventually that's dumped away. We'll have another face-off. Lincoln now becoming more animated behind the check bench. out to just outside the Czech blue line. Turcotte gets it back to the D looking for Modano with that shot right in. The Americans will chase as that comes back. Bodine just missed his check and you can see the order of the day is out there. They hit. Big push from behind by Hauer on Berbeck. And Temper starting to flare here in the second period. The Americans have a tendency sometimes to lose it out there. And that's when they start losing on the scoreboard. If they can maintain their composure, they can stay in this tournament. Howard, a big hit in the neutral zone will cost him a couple of minutes. Drafted by Vancouver. Two minutes for cross check. Cross checking is the call as that comes back to number 18 for Beck. Cadlech now at the blue. The one timer comes in. Dunham is there and he pounces on it right at the edge of the post. A change of direction on that one. Dunham, who got the starting nod over Mike Richter and Pat. Jablonski, both NHL goaltenders. Coming up big in Holland shot. From the faceoff, Kuchera. Eventually that comes back to Holland. Holland with Cadillac back at the D. Cadillac has a boomer of the shot when he can get it away. Big umbrella now setting up from the Czechs. Watch the man behind the net moving along. There's going to be a penalty on the play. The touch there doesn't come from Beers. Eventually number four, Weinrich touches it. And the Americans will have another man in the box. Brisa came over in an effort to throw on an extra attacker while the Czechs still had the puck. And now it's the Americans who will go with two men in the box. Beers down on the ice as that went down to the side of the net. Eddie Olchik, the captain of the American team, will sit. Great opportunity here for the Czechs as Olchek goes in for slashing. On this side, it's Holland. Holland now throws it back to the far side. The return pass comes in. Holland looking to set something up with purpose. Big shot comes in. Dunham goes down, and that bounces away through the circle. Baranek is positioned right in the slot area with all that NHL uh, experience. That's where they want their gunner. That took a deflection. Kindly came right back to... Holland thrown over to the far side. Kadlec. Holland 
Back to Kadlec. Kadlec. Back to Kadlec again. A one-timer. That took a deflection. And the Americans not allowing the Czechs to get a clear shot on goal. They've got a two-man advantage. Dolezal. Holand fakes the first shot. Fakes the second. Goes in close. Holand still with the puck. Throws it to the far side. Back to Kadlec. Winds up. Takes the shot. The rebound is right there. Baronat gets it back to the boom. There's no one to pick it up. Dunham has come up big again. Excellent action now in the second period. No score. Yanetsky comes up over the blue line. Big whistle on the plate. And both teams have had a two-man advantage. Howard's getting ready to get on the ice, and it doesn't look like the Czechs are going to score either on their two-man advantage. Kadlec from close in lets this one fly. Dunham is there. Russell. Gudas. Russell breaks to the far side. The Americans still with a man in the box. Kastak lays that back to the D. Thrown up nicely by Horova. Behind the goal now. And the Americans setting it up in front. Beers positioned in the crease. The shot is a fake right in front. And a chance now for Weinrich, and he can't get it out of the zone. Russell picks it up. All the way back to the blue. Gudas takes a shot. Gudas again throws it right along the blue line. Offside. Good call by the officials. And that just trickled out over the blue. Was brought back in. And a change of defense as Horova goes over and sits it out. Horova not happy with that call, but it was a good one. A long tournament, so you're going to see short shifts out there for both teams. Johnson got the draw. That came back, shot out, and Olchik steps on the ice. And the Americans did what the Czechs did in the first period, killed off a penalty. Olchik takes the shot. That bounces on the Right hand side as we look at the net. Breezer was moving the other way. That could have been dangerous. Johnson goes after his man. Sacco takes his man out of the play. And the checks now from the red line. A chance. Beck moving in. Dunham. Still not out of the zone. Out of Beck on the backhand. Goes to the short side. The puck comes all the way back to the blue line. Staviana, the shot from right in front. And some good defensive stuff from uh, Craig Johnson as he cleared that out of harm's way. The Americans now going through center ice, throwing it up on the far The near side is Sacco. Sacco puts it in front and Breeza steers that to the far side. Out of Beck taps it forward. Double teaming there, but the check stepped out of the way. Burt slowly brings it up. Burt gets it away from Tupal. Up onto an open wing. Amonti steps onto the ice, but can't get it away from Baronek. Baronek goes in, takes the first shot, or couldn't he get a stick on it? Hatcher got the rebound and threw it up on the far side. Well, I'd like to see that again. I really don't think he got lumber on it. That comes back. And Old Chick couldn't get a shot away. Capusta, a chance, lets the shot go. Dunham brought it down. And the Americans now, with the action really picking up here in the second period, still no score. Amonti is brought down right on the red line. A lot of checks getting back to help out. Gudas got that up to Capusta. Capusta takes a swipe at weight. Slashing is the call. ice. We would take a look at Hatcher going in on Beranek. He really didn't get the shot away. At the second attempt, he still didn't get the shot away. Some great stuff by Hatcher to hook him at the last moment. Capusta came in and couldn't get any lumber on it. Take a look at Tony Omonte, the New York Rangers star. 
slushing is the call on him, and that seems to be the Swedish referee's favorite call out there. You can get away with it in the NHL, but in international hockey, they have a tendency to call things closely. Robert Beer is lucky to get away with that one, the big push on Dolezal. Less than five minutes on the period. Long pass out to Janetski. Janetski passes that up on the left wing. Dolezal stops in his tracks. Dolezal still hangs on to it. Some good stuff from him along the boards. Dolezal feeds it into Kuchera. Dolezal back to Kuchera. That's too far from him. A big hit there by Weinrich. Weinrich muscles. Dolezal back to Kadlec. Kadlec taken off the play. Turcott breaking down. Turcott doing a good job of forechecking. Poland. To Janetski. Janetski sidesteps a check. Janetski. Good moves from him as he goes over the blue line. Perhaps one too many moves. Coming back is Sacco. Sacco squeezed out of the plate. Modano in the corner. Throws it out front. Has the whistle blown. Everyone seemed to slow down as Burt moved in. Hatcher into the circle. Modano. One or two players on both teams thought there was a whistle. It sounded like there was a whistle in the crowd, perhaps. Modano casually threw it out front. That's brought down by Dolezal, and he starts it up over the red. Dolezal drops it back. No whistle. Kuchera muscled out of the circle, and the Americans are getting back in numbers now to back check. Quick changes for both teams. Padova. A break now for the Americans. The shot comes in, and Visa. Watch that just go beyond the net. Hastak tips that one over. Hastak from the side of the net. Dunham is there from close in. Hastak let the shot wide, but Dunham held his ground. Russell from a slow start in the second period. This game really has caught fire again. Drury passed that up on the wing. Amonti moves in. He's back out of the box. Coming in quickly is Hauer. Hauer gets it in behind the goal. Hauer calls for it. That comes right in front. The shot wasn't there. Russell picks it up. Russell going down on Richter. A three-on-two situation. Russell slows it right down. Right in front. The shot there coming from Harava. Dunham was there. Harava. Russell got it out front. Olchik picks it up, and there's the man of the moment. Dunham coming up big again. Wait circles. Wait gets it back. Big shot on Brisa, and he kicks it out. Wait steals that from Servan. Servan throws it in, or Wait rather throws it in front of the net away from Servan. And Olchek trying to hook up his man. Weinrich stays with Perbeck. And Weinrich came out on tops in that one. Good round of applause from the appreciative spectators here in Dortmund. The shot never really happened to Monte. On the hash mark, still with Monte. Throws that to the far side. No one there to pick it up. Waite tries to trick him into passing it in front of the net. Zemlichka, good move by Zemlichka. Takes the shot, Dunham puts it in the corner. Weinrich up on the boards. Beers, the drop pass, the return pass. Olchek, Olchek along the boards, taken out of the play by Zemlichka. Eventually, Kowloon picks it up. Kowloon headmans the puck to Zemlichka. Baranek, Baranek squeezed out of the play. A big hit there by Hatcher. That goes right through the crease. No let up in the play in the dying minutes of this second period. The break in, there's a tip. Going after it is Podine. Out front is Modano. Turcotte got a stick on it and couldn't put it beyond Brisa. Modano was perfectly poised in the slot area. Modano picks it up now. Drops it in to Podine. He throws it to the far side. The second's tipping down. Capusta drops it. Capusta at the second attempt got it out. Howard. Both teams looking to pick up a goal to break this deadlock, and it would be a great time. Any time's a great time to pick up a goal. That's right in front. Breeze is there. Cody working well with Turcotte and Modano. And 
And I was about to say that any time's a good time to score, but just before you go into a 15-minute break is a brilliant time because your spirits are up. You're high to come out for the next period. Jury moves over to the far side as we take a look at some action with Podine doing the chopping out there. The shot, not a difficult one for Brisa. Brisa getting the stick up as we go back to the live action. Jury, who's moved back onto the right wing from the side of the net. The Czechs getting in to clear things up. That comes back as far as the hash marks. And Howard couldn't keep it in. Big hit there by Beers right on the whistle as Veronek moved in to take the shot. Janetski taken out of the play. But after 40 minutes of play, it's still deadlocked. No score in this one. It really has been a seesaw battle. Fantastic first period and a brilliant second period after it finally caught fire. Petra Grisa and Michael Dunham, the goaltenders, have been outstanding. Dunham, a surprise starter with Jablonski and Richter, NHL material, sitting on the bench. Stay with us. We have got 20 more minutes to come live from Dortmund. And remember, two weeks of ice hockey on Eurosport, one, two, three games a day. We'll be back in a moment to Dortmund for the third and final period of this game between USA and the Czech Republic. Still no score. And the Czechs playing from left to right with Janecki. Janecki throwing it out to the high slot area. That comes back nicely to Weinrich. Weinrich gets the return pass. And it really has been wide open hockey. That's a giveaway there, but good recovery from Bob Beers, Waite comes in to clean up. Waite puts that to the far side. One or two sloppy passes in the opening stages of this one. Kadlech hits the blue line. Kadlech gets a forearm from Beers. Going in after it is Kuchera. He's taken out. And that comes nicely for Waite. Waite coming down on the left side. Waite looking for a little room there, but Kadlech doesn't allow that to happen. Trickles out into neutralized territory. Waite picks it up throws it to the far side and wait looking for the return pass and he can't get it eventually he does get it to the top of the circle that's squeezed away by Dolezal Kuchera the drop pass Dolezal is dropped just as he leveled that one down Modano goes after that pokes it away from Staviana Modano from a sharp angle took the shot and that went wide to the far post Modano has been deadly out there Modano now at the red line. This guy can motor. Modano picks it up. A lucky move <laughs> by him as he went around the defenseman. And the Americans applying a little pressure along that blue line. Turcotte trying to keep it in, and he does. Still no score in this one. We know already that the Germans won their first game 6-0, and the Russians and the Italians tied two apiece, and we understand the, the Italians were leading that one in the third period 2-0. What is happening to the Russian machine? Hauer loses control of that right out front. Gudas took the shot and that trickled wide to the far corner. Chance now off the side of the net. Dunham got the stick on it. Some good stuff from Russell as he cleared it away. Kastak keeps it in. Kastak takes a hit along the boards. Kastak. And Kastak kicking that along the boards. Kastak now without the helmet. Gives it to Russell. Russell along the red line. Russell. Russell right out front. And Hastak took a swipe at it and missed it. Zemlichka on the ice. Zemlichka leaves it for Horaba. That's tipped into the near corner. Johnson gets it as far as the blue line. A change out there for both teams. Weinrich up on the left wing to Johnson. Johnson takes the shot. Kadlech whistled that off the boards to get it out of harm's way, and the Czechs come back quickly now. Kaloon, Kaloon down on the right side. He stopped right at the hash marks. Some good stuff there by Weinrich. Weinrich brings it back in a hurry. Weinrich over the blue, happy just to dribble that in. Left out front. Johnson was there, but couldn't get the shot away. 
Dunham. Weinrich to the far side. The Americans. One or two casual passes in their own zone as that goes along the boards on the far side of the rink. And the Americans now with a little pressure on here as the Czechs bring it out. Tupal couldn't hang on to that. Cadillac backs it over to the far side. And the Czechs happy just to shoot it into the U.S. zone. Kept in by Tupal. Amonti will get this on the board. Flip it forward to Wait. Wait now looks for a little space. He's taken out of the play nicely. Serma and Cadillac doing a great job on the D for Czechs. Tupal gave that a little tip, but not far enough. That shot right back in. Serban goes after it. He can't get a handle on it. Kapusta. Karanek. Tupal. Tupal, a one-on-two situation going up against Darren Hatcher. Hatcher, the forearm up. Tupal taken out of the play. Still the checks with the puck. Baranek. Burt stays on him. Olchik goes in to help clean up. Kapusta comes up with the puck against Olchik. And Olchik goes in to bat that along the boards. And that goes as far as the blue line. It's kept in. Hatcher has lost his stick as he goes up against number 24, Tupal. Burt tries to backhand it out of the zone. Hatcher goes over to the bench to pick it up. Breeze is way out of his net. Holland has a lot of room down the left side. Big shot. That took a deflection off of Brett Howard and will have a face off. Darian Hatcher caught out there without a stick. He eventually went to the bench, picked it up and got back in the game. No score. Checks against the Americans. Kastak and Hastak had a good shift. Face off just inside USA territory. Turcotte could only get that far as far as Horova. Richter, Richter squeezed out of the play. Yanetsky fanned on the shot. He was right out front. All the time in the world and blew it. Turcotte now. Turcotte trying to stick handle through Gudas. That didn't happen. Kuchera on the left wing. Kuchera flips it over to the right wing. Not a great pass from him. Podine gets a double hit along the boards. Yanetsky got it through to Horova. And that went as far as the boards on the far side. But Brett Howard muscles. It's brought out and the checks now. Big shot from Dolezal is blocked by the D. Still kept in. Kuchera flips it in front. Dunham went down. Didn't have to make the save. Kuchera on this one. Dunham had to make the save. Kuchera right out front. A lot of these shots have been from point blank range, but a lot of them have been hitting the pads. I'm not taking anything away from the goaltenders. They've been outstanding. But the forwards out there seem to have lost the knack for hitting the corners at this stage of the tournament anyway. One or two players still finding their feet. They just got off the plane. Weinrich is one. Weinrich got that up to Drury and that went through to number 21, Sackle. A break now for the Czechs. Russell. Russell bringing it in, showing too much of the puck at the top of the circle and the Americans coming back quickly. Plant. Plant the drop pass. Drury bangs that off a skate. That trickles out over the blue. Some good stuff from Russell now as Russell three on one situation. Oh, and a great save by Dunham as Weinrich was backing right up on the goalie. He had no option, but Dunham came up big again. Hastak and Russell out there. The shot from close in and eventually Dunham picked that one up off of Kastak's stick. Again, from upstairs, you can see Weinrich trying to separate the defenseman out there, doing what he's got to do on a three-on-one situation. Dunham did the rest. They're back from the draw. Cadillac scores! is beaten for the first time. Cadlech way back at the blue. Let one go.
Let's take a look at this again. Low, just slightly off the ice. And that's in the back of the net. It's been a long time coming. Let's see this again. Perhaps Dunham was partially screened. It didn't look like he was set for that one at all, but that's the first goal of the game. And the big defenseman, Dravomir Kadlec, gets credit for that. Bouncing puck comes down, and Birch will get back there for USA. Bert, in front of his own goal, gives it to Olchik. Olchik couldn't contain that, and the Czechs come back now. Zemlichka takes the shot. Dunham, the loose puck is there. Veranek set him up. More pressure from the Czechs here in the third period. Veranek hits the blue line. The backhander over to Zemlichka. Dunham so quick to react. Way out of the net to cut down the angle. From the top of the circle now, Horava. That bounces to the side of the net. Baranek working out there with 24. Tupal, Baranek from the side. Baranek applying a little pressure. That comes back to Gudas, the big shot. And loose puck is right in front. No one seemed to want to get that for a second or two. Now it's picked up by 19, Capusta. Capusta looking to do the wraparound. And the Americans are in trouble out there. Modano takes it out of harm's way. Modano with a burst of speed. Podin breaks for the net. Turcotte takes the shot as he's dumped by Gudas. Turcotte goes into the net. And that's shot all the way down the ice. Weinrich jumps back on for USA. No let up in the pressure out there. As that comes over to number 14, Johnson. Intercepted on the blue and the Czechs slow it down as they go for a change. One or two near misses out there. A good pass up to the blue line. And Kuchera smothered right at the blue line. Gets the pass over. Some great stuff from Kuchera. Gives it to Yanetsky. Yanetsky falling down. Takes the shot and Dunham comes up with the save again. Johnson. Plant. Servan rides him heavily into the plexi. Long pass eludes everyone as that goes to the far side and the Americans are going to have to bring themselves back into this. Beers along the boards. A loose puck there. Plant couldn't get a stick on it. Coming back is Dolezal. Dolezal drops the puck back. Kuchera took a weak shot wide of the target. Johnson clears it out. That hits the boards. Kuchera couldn't get it and the Americans now have a chance. Weinrich. Weinrich splitting the defense. The shot comes in. Breeze goes down. Best opportunity of the period for USC. Weinrich, the defenseman for Hartford Whalers, got it through Cadillac's skate and stick. Laid it on nicely. The shot comes in. And Brisa comes up big. From upstairs... David Sacco putting that high. And Brisa. Amonti getting a shot on that. And Brisa watched that one go by. High sticking the call. And the Swedish referee makes his way over to the penalty box, as does Eddie Olchik. Just when the USA were starting to bring themselves back into this game, they trail by one. A lot of pressure coming from the Americans on Brisa. But now Olchik is in the box. Power play situation as we approach the midway points in the period. Holland to Russell. Russell starts it out for the Czech Republic. Russell up on the wing. Big hit there by Hatcher. 
Loose puck at the side of the net is fed up to Amonti. Amonti can't get away from Kadlec, and that's batted down the ice. Holland will go back for it. Ball on the right side, or left side rather, as the Czechs work their way down the ice. Cleared in, going back for it is Weinrich. Weinrich can't get it. Hastak chases for it. Hastak going up, up against Beers. Podin eventually moves in, and he's given the puck. Podin moves down on the right side. Milo Saholand gets back in a hurry. Russell now collects the puck. Back to Beers. Podin takes him out of the play. Beers will get this. Shoots it away. That comes as far as the red line. Bert, or Turcott rather, muscles along the boards. A chance as Zemlichka gets it back, and now Holland couldn't keep it in the zone. Still a power play situation. Weinrich moving up onto the blue line and the whistle blows. Weinrich has played some good hockey out there. Hartford out of the playoffs. As we take a look at Petter Russell doing a number on his stick. Russell wants something that will stay together while he's out there. It's not the kind of thing you should do at home with the furniture. Modano goes up against her back. Modano nicely back. Gets the return pass. Modano gives it up on the right side to Drury. Drury comes in, takes the shot, and that takes a bit of a deflection. Mike Modano working with Drury and Richter out there. The experience with the college youth and vitality. Modano, of course, is still only 22, but when you're getting paid $6.7 million, you would think the guy's been around forever. Six foot three, Modano certainly can motor. Modano takes a big chop at her back. Her back threw that up to Zemlichka. Zemlichka goes after his own pass, and the American starting to get the stick in. Her back waits. Hatcher, Hatcher trying to get that and freeze it along the boards. That comes free, and the Americans now can't get it away from Zemlichka. Hatcher puts it along the board. Hatcher, who admits that he's had an up and down season in the NHL, missed 16 games with. A knee injury, killing off this penalty, eventually gets it out of the zone, and Olchek steps on the ice, and the whistle blows. One nil the score, Kadlec picking up the only goal a moment ago for the Czechs. Zemlichka goes to the box. So now the power play will go the other way. Face off deep in Czech territory. As they get set for this, Olchek, who's just come out of the penalty box, gets it back to the blue. Weinrich moved along the line but couldn't contain the puck. Bats it along the boards. Olchek got it in. The shot comes in. That deflects into the far corner. Kapusta tries to get it out, but Weinrich bats it back in. Weinrich back at the blue line. Manages somehow to get it to wait. Back to Weinrich. His shot comes in from close in. Olchek. Amonti. Amonti behind the goal. Goes all the way back to the blue. Back to Amonti. He can't contain it. Olchek goes in after Horva. And that comes back as far as the blue line. The Americans not impressing so far on the power play. Weinrich throws it forward to Waite. Waite up onto the blue line. Olchek moves in front of the goal. A chance. The shot comes in. Kadlec got in front of it. Wait, got the pass, tees it up, takes the shot right in front. That was blocked, and the Czechs clear it all the way down the ice. Yeah. 
Riza hanging on to that shutout. Hatcher puts it up, and that goes through. Sacco skates. Hatcher goes after it, but Sacco will get there first. Modano. Modano shrugs off a check. Modano on the blue line leaves it nicely for Sacco. Sacco has a chance to shoot and hits Kadlech. Hatcher to Modano. A lot of pressure from the Czechs right out to the blue line. The Americans with no room to move out there. That comes behind the goal. Podine taken out of the plate. A lot of movement from the Czechs, but the Americans right now are stationary. Hatcher. Hatcher with a chest. He scores! That levels it here in the third period. Power play goal. Six foot five. Darian Hatcher moved in. Looked once or twice and then decided to go for it. Big wrist shot behind Breeza. Let's take a look at this again. The parting of the ways here. Kadlich goes in to block the shot. Perhaps a screen on that one too. And Breeza is beaten. Kadlich, the nearest defender, went down. And Breeza looks behind to see the end results. Well, a moment ago I said that in an interview, Darian Hatcher was saying he was having a re real seesaw season out there. One minute he felt good, the next minute he was absolutely abysmal. Missed 16 games through a knee injury. But I guess he feels pretty good about that one. 1-1 one, one the score here in the third period. This one is still wide open. Welcome back to ice hockey on Eurosport. The face-off with just a couple of minutes remaining. Just outside the U.S. zone. A goal earlier on in the third period by Kadlec and another one by Darian Hatcher has brought it to a 1-1 score line. And then what, that's the way it stands right now for checking by her back. The USA, both teams have had their opportunities. The two-line pass is the call. And so the face-off will be back to the point where that pass originated. Just a reminder that on day two on Eurosport, live France will play Finland. And we can tell you now that the Swedes have defeated the Austrians 1-0 would have thought that the Austrians would have stayed with the current world champions for three periods. The Italians drew with the Russians 2-2 and the Germans beat the Norwegians 6-0. And right now it's a 1-1 game out there with the Czech Republic going up against USA. If I had to pick men of the match, they would have to be the goaltenders. Michael Dunham 20-year-old University of Maine has been exceptional out there. 28-year-old Petra Brizra playing hockey in Finland with Luko Rauma has been exceptional out there too. Face-off with Janetski going in and a lot of time being taken on this. Turcotte is set, Janetski is set, but the wingers are still Messing around out there. The puck is dropped. That comes to the hash marks. Good forechecking again by Herbeck. He never stopped skating. That's pushed away from Turcotte. Podine is muscled out of the play. And back come the checks. Herbeck throws it to the far side. Zemlichka taps it in. Dunham puts it along the red line. And that's cleared out. And the Americans now. Burks gets it as far as the red line. Turcotte looking for somewhere to go. Turcotte looking to throw it in to Burks. And that didn't happen. Herbeck starts it back up for Czechoslovakia. Janetski. Janetski got it over. The shot didn't come. And the Americans bring it out of their own zone. Time ticking down. Turcotte trying to do it on his own. Gets around Zemlichka. And then runs into Holland. Turcotte and Holland grab each other's sticks and stay where they are. Podine muscled into the boards. Taken out of the plate. A 1-1 game going right down to the final whistle. Kadlec to the far side. 
Not a great pass from him. Beers jumps it to the near side. Back from Weinrich to Beers, and he'll have to chase that one. That's tipped high, and both teams look happy to be able to kill this one off. Wait. Amonti back to Wait. That was nice. Wait now coming in on the backhand side, takes the shot, and that took a deflection. Russell took his man out, and the checks now start up. Big shot there from Holland, bounces off the boards. And there goes the buzzer to end 60 minutes of play. Everyone goes back to congratulate Riza on this side of the rink, but at the other end of the rink, it's Michael Dunham who gets a pat on the back. Dunham and Riza were outstanding. Kadlec got the only goal for the Czech Republic. And Hatcher, another defenseman, got the only goal for USA. First game, day one, the Americans draw with the Czechs, one apiece. An excellent start for both teams, a freewheeling, wide open game. We're going to go now. We hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back tomorrow with Finland against France. Until then, 